All right, oysters are great to eat, but a group of citizen scientists is growing them for a very different reason. Morning News Now recently went to Florida to meet the team that's rebuilding the reefs. These small gray shells dotting the coast may not look like much, but they play a huge role in keeping our oceans healthy. From water filtration to building habitat to shoreline stabilization, all those different things are really critical to the health of our estuaries. Studies show a single oyster can filter up to 50 gallons of water a day, removing harmful pollutants from oceans and rivers. But over-harvesting and over-development have decimated the world's oyster population. Around the globe, 85% of oyster beds have been lost in the last 100 years, making them the world's most endangered marine habitats. But at the University of Florida's Whitney Lab, they're trying to turn the tide and rebuild the reefs. Right now, we've got literally millions of baby clams out here. Todd Osborne is using this nursery to breed and incubate tiny oysters and clams until they're strong enough to be relocated into the bay. We're utilizing aquaculture techniques, which we've been pioneered here in Florida for quite a while, to grow both hard clams and oysters and utilizing those animals in ecosystem restoration. And one of the really cool aspects of that is not only does it work, um, but we're engaging the public with it. The public, volunteers, each given a custom-made biodegradable oyster bed starter to help them grow the mollusks. They then learn how to care for their reefs. They track the animals, they measure them, they, they feed us data so that we can, we can better understand the ecosystem. You, you develop a better appreciation for what is actually here and, and how it works. Eric Smith is one of the citizen scientists and says the project is not just rebuilding reefs, it's also restoring the public's confidence in science. R really important to help citizens better understand what science is. Uh, we have an obligation as, as members of this, this planet to not just benefit from the bounty that is all around us, but to also take care of and maintain and preserve. An obligation Eric takes seriously, helping secure the future of our oceans, one reef at a time. And the project seems to be working. They've already created more than 10,000 community oyster gardens throughout North Florida. And while they can't eat those oysters, they do have a party at the end of the season where they celebrate by eating oysters brought in from an area that has a full supply. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.